Blackjack is one of the most popular and fun games that you can play at the casino. With a house edge of around 1%, it also has some of the best odds for the player. In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know and get you ready to play Blackjack online. First off, you should know that Blackjack is also referred to as 21, because the object of the game is to beat the dealer as you accumulate cards in an attempt to get the card count closest to 21 without going over. In fact, if you're lucky enough to get dealt a blackjack, an ace and a 10 point value card, that pays three to two. So if you've bet $10 on that round, you're getting 15 back, plus your original stake, of course. Any other win in the game for the player pays one to one. Remember, you aren't playing blackjack against anyone else, just you and your hand against the dealer's hand. So let's look at how the cards are valued, or the card hierarchy. Cards two through 10 have face value. So a three is worth three points, a seven is worth seven points, and so on. For face cards, jack, queen, king are each worth 10, while the ace has the luxury of having two values. An ace is worth one or 11. So as an example, if you have a 16 and ask for a card and it's an ace, you'll now have 17 because of the one point value of the card and not an 11 in this instance. Once again, the object of the game is to beat the dealer. So blackjack is a one-on-one -on -one game to accumulate the best hand without going over 21. If you go over 21, you lose. If the dealer's hand is better than yours, you lose. When you sit down to play blackjack at an online casino, here's an example of what your screen will look like more often than not. You'll see your table space and some chips and an option for betting value, $1, $5, and so on. When you place your bet, you can then click deal and you'll get your cards. You'll get two cards, both face up. The dealer will get two cards, one face up and one face down. Let's say you get two face cards. You got 20, nice. You look at the dealer's hand and it's showing a three. You now have a choice, to hit or to stand. Hit is where you'll ask the dealer for another card to add to your total. You can hit as many times as you want, so long as you don't go over 21. Stand is when you are happy with the cards you have and don't want to take any more. In this example, you'll be pretty happy with the cards you've been dealt, so you're gonna stick with your cards and force the dealer to beat your hand. They flip their face down card and it's a 10, so they've got 13 and they'll have to hit. Now, the dealer will have to hit on any hand up until 17 where they have to stand. They take another card and it's a three, so they have 16 and they obviously have to hit. A 10. That means the dealer busts and you've won this round. Let's say you've bet $25 on that hand, so you've won your original bet back plus another $25. Good start. Now Blackjack has some common terminology that you'll need to know before starting a game. We've already addressed basics like hit and stand, but I'll give you some others really quick before moving on. You'll be asked if you want insurance when the dealer's got an ace up card coupled with the face down card. Insurance is a side bet where you'll wager on the face down card being a 10 value card, thus giving the dealer blackjack. The insurance bet pays two to one and you'll risk half of your initial wager. You'll also see terms hard and soft thrown around as well. This comes back to the ace and the fact it can be valued as a one or an 11. If the ace is an 11, then the hand is a soft one. If the ace is a one value, then the hand is a hard hand. Depending on the casino, you'll also come across something known as surrender. Surrendering is when you have no faith in your hand beating the dealers after being dealt your first two cards. Instead of playing out of hand, you'll simply receive half of your bet back upon surrendering. For example, perhaps you're dealt a 16 and the dealer has a 10. This looks like a pretty decent spot to surrender. 
There is some basic strategy you're going to want to know in Blackjack as well. Here are a couple of notes to get started. Let's start with double down. In this situation, the player doubles the bet size to take one card with the understanding that after getting that card, you're going to have to stand. Let's say you've been dealt a 6 and a 5, giving you 11, and the dealer is showing a 4. You're going to double your bet in the hopes that you'll get a 10 value card to give you 21. Basic Blackjack strategy also recommends doubling down on hard 9s, 10s, and 11s against low dealer cards. If you are dealt two cards of the same value, you have the option to now essentially play them as individual hands. Your initial bet now applies to one of those hands, while you have to wager the same amount on the new second hand. The number of times you can split during a round varies from casino to casino. Sometimes you can split three times, giving you four hands, so be sure to read your casino's rule guide. Let's say you're dealt a pair of nines, and let's say the dealer is showing a five. You can split these into two different hands. Unlike the double down, you can hit as many times as you'd like in this situation except when you split aces, where you get just one card. And yes, you can also double down when you split. Let's use nines as an example again. You have your nines, and on the first hand you get dealt a two. You can double down on this and pray to the blackjack gods that you get a 10. Like any game, there are also some common mistakes that players make as well. One of the most common mistakes new players make is not hitting on soft 17 or less. Regardless of what the dealer is showing, this is a great opportunity to get a free card because you're never going to bust. Remember insurance? Insurance is not something that you want to invest in. So when you're playing and the dealer shows that ace card and you get offered blackjack insurance, more often than not, just say no. Why? Well, you'd be banking on the dealer having a 10 or a face card, and the probability of that is around 30%. So it's not in your favor to have an additional side bet. There is one popular scenario where people will say yes to insurance, however. When the player gets blackjack and the dealer shows that ace and insurance is offered, some players will take it, assuring them of a profit. It guarantees even money, whereas if the player says no, at worst it's a push. This has a 31% probability, but of course, this is a personal preference. Is it a good idea to split 10s? Well, no, not really, and here's why. You've already got a 20 hand, and that is pretty tough to beat. Don't break up that 20 and decrease your chances of beating the dealer's hand. Stand firm. The chances of you getting an inferior hand after breaking up your 20 increases. Another mistake people make is splitting fours or fives, although it is advisable to split fours against a dealer's five or six. Don't bother in this situation. Chances are that you're gonna wind up with some low or tricky totals, whereas if you stick with those hands and build on them, you'll get something of value. Lastly, basic blackjack strategy recommends hitting on 16 while the dealer shows a high card, a 10 for example. You're in a tough spot here, and if your casino doesn't offer surrender, your best play here is to hit on that 16 and hope you get a small card. Blackjack is fun and it's exciting, and now you're ready to find an online casino to play. To stay up to date on the latest game guides and strategy, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Gamble Online, the world's leading resource for online gambling information since 2008.